Morocco offers one of the easiest residence by company formation programs on the planet and I wanted to fill you in on the exact steps that you need to follow in order to secure this visa as well as some other vital information that you need to know before moving to Morocco. What I really like about this option is that you can get it done. You can obtain your residence by company formation while you're in the country. So you don't need to fly back home and deal with the embassy or consulate there. You just fly to Morocco on a 90 day tourist visa and get it done there. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact process. Make sure you watch this video until the end. So the first thing that you wanna do is obviously you fly to Morocco. And if you are a citizen of the 67 countries, then you can get it done in 90 days. And that's more than enough time to get it done. Trust me, the whole process actually takes less than a month. So it's very convenient. Once you're in Morocco, the first thing that you wanna focus on is incorporating your country. Company. This is a process that shouldn't take you longer than 10 business days, depending on whether you do this on your own, depending on whether you get assistance. You may be able to get it on sooner, but generally speaking, the average person takes anywhere from seven to 10 business days to get this process done. First step would be to obtain the certificate negative. This is obtained from the regional investment center where you incorporate your company. What's important to notice here is that you first pick your company name and this is a process that can be done either in person. So if you are in Morocco and you know you want to get it done there, that's no problem. You can just go to the regional investment center, you know, pick the company name, get it incorporated there in person, or you can also file your petition online. You can choose the company name online. So much more convenient to do obviously. The cost of incorporating that is 250 Moroccan dirham, which comes down to roughly $23. The next thing that you wanna do is pay the stamp duty. This costs roughly 30 Moroccan dirham, so roughly $3, very affordable, and you're gonna get this done in just one business day. Go to a kiosk, bookstore, post office, any public establishment that deals with stamp duties should be able to help you with this. Then you want to pay the patent tax. You download the form from the regional investment center, you fill it out and you bring it to the local office. This must be submitted in person. It cannot be done online. This whole process of setting up the company and getting the documents submitted to the government should cost you anywhere from a thousand to two thousand Moroccan dirham. That's assuming you do everything on your own. Once you get a company set up, it is time to get your resident card. This is a process that shouldn't take you longer than two to three weeks, depending on how easy it is to get the documents for this process. So what you need to get the resident card are your criminal record certificate. And again, you don't need to fly back home and deal with the police in your home country. No, you can just go to your embassy, wherever your embassy or consulate is located in Morocco, whether that's in Casablanca, Rabat, you go there, you know, you, know, you set up an appointment and you simply pay the fee to get your background check. Now this can cost you anywhere from 50 to a few hundred dollars depending on your embassy's fee for that. The next thing that you need is a medical certificate confirming that you don't have any contagious diseases. So we're talking about AIDS, tuberculosis, and you need to have this confirmed by a local doctor. Just set up an appointment, show up at the doctor's office, you pay the fee, and this is something that you could also get done in a day or two. Of course, you also need to prove economic solvency. And how you do that is by showing your bank statements. The Moroccan government doesn't really want to see that you're a millionaire, but they want to see that you have at least a few thousand dollars in your bank account. Well, that you had at least a few thousand dollars in your bank account over the past couple of months. What's always required to get residency in another country are your birth certificate, passport, passport photos, you know, just really basic stuff that you need. And once you have gathered all these documents, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up an appointment at the government office in Rabat and bring these documents with you. Now, the thing is you may not be able to get your resident card the same day, meaning you actually have to fly back or drive back, you know, however you decide to go to Rabat, you have to go back and pick up your resident card in person. The best part about this residence by company formation program that the Moroccan government offers you 
is that it doesn't require you to prove any past business performance, unlike it is in certain countries like in the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, even Latin America. You know, depending on where we look, the Moroccan government makes it easy, straightforward. And like I told you, you can apply for this visa for this residence permit while you're in Morocco. There's no need to fly back and deal with the consulate or embassy in your home country. And I know that so many of you are actually looking for an option like that. And again, how much it really takes to set up this business is maybe, you know, 100 to 300, 400 dollars you know, depending on obviously how much you do on your own. Again, it doesn't take you to invest like thousands of dollars into the business. While you are required to deposit some money into the corporate bank account, there is really no fixed amount, you know, set by the bank where the bank's going to say, you know what, you need to deposit at least $20,000 for us to consider opening up a corporate bank account for you. That doesn't really exist. So Morocco offers a really easy, flexible program you know, that would allow a digital nomad, entrepreneur, businessman, or even just a freelancer move through the country, incorporate a company with very little costs involved and obtain this so valuable residence permit that everyone wants. While it is easy to incorporate a company and secure your residence permit, there are some things that you need to be aware of when moving to Morocco. And now we want to talk about the big no-nos that you should be aware of before you can move to Morocco and start your life there. The first thing that you have to know about Morocco is that it is a Muslim country. If you are living in a Muslim country, you are pretty much embracing the Muslim culture. And that often doesn't sit well with Westerners or with foreigners, doesn't matter. And the reason for that is because people don't want to accept a different culture. Now, if you want to live in Morocco, Morocco is a strict Muslim country. It really is. It's not like Malaysia. It is a much stricter Muslim country. And the core foundational mindset that you need to have in order to not only move there but have a good life there is to accept Islam. If you cannot accept Islam, then Morocco is just not the right place for you. And we're talking about basic respect. Another thing that you just can't do is disrespect the monarchy. And whether we're talking about Thailand, Malaysia, the Philippines, Morocco, Mexico, Colombia, no matter what country you decide to move to, it is really important to accept the government for what it is and not complain about the people in charge too much. If that is the case, if you cannot accept your host country's government, your host country's ways of doing things, then why are you even moving there? You could move to a country where that is not a problem for you. Morocco is no exception in this case. It is just like any other country. If you want to live in France, you got to accept the government of France. There's really no way around that. You need to respect your host country. Since Morocco is a Muslim country, you need to be aware of your dress code all the time. And that is because people dress very conservatively in Morocco. For instance, it would be very inappropriate to show up in shorts or in beachwear at a mall or at a mosque. You know, that would be completely inappropriate because it goes against the basic etiquette that the country has in place. No matter where you're moving to, you gotta fall in line with what's the norm. And something very obvious is that you should not expect people to speak English. There's a good amount of English speakers in Morocco, but it is not the native language you got to speak Arabic. I also wanted to talk with you about some locations that the country has to offer. Tangier is probably one of the most liked cities throughout Morocco because it offers a great balance between European and Moroccan culture. It is the closest city to Spain, to Europe, and it had a lot of European influence over the past centuries. People that want to have the mix of both cultures prefer living in Tangier. There are daily ferries from Tangier to mainland Spain, which take roughly an hour to one and a half hours. And I think that's really interesting for people that may consider spending a good amount of time in Morocco and a good amount of time in Spain. The capital Rabat is obviously a city that a lot of of people choose, it got the ocean, it's a lot more laid back than Casablanca is. Rabat is the capital, while Casablanca is the biggest city in Morocco. Now, where do you find the most expats in Morocco? And the answer to this question is definitely in Rabat, in Casablanca, in Tangier, you find a lot of expats there, and of course, also Marrakesh. 
Marrakech is one of the most visited cities in Morocco. You know, a lot of tourists go there. There's a lot of fun activities that you can embrace when you're in Marrakech, but on the negative, it gets really sizzling hot in the summertime. So if you want to visit Marrakech to check it out, probably consider going there in spring or autumn. Winter would be fine too, but if you go there in the summertime, just be prepared for a lot of heat. Do you have any questions about moving to Morocco? leave a comment below and let us know. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm uploading new videos on digital nomad locations, travel updates, and investment advice several times a week right now. I highly recommend that you grab a free copy of my latest ebook, The Nomad Elite Income Booster, your go-to guide for creating passive income streams using the internet. And if you got some more time left, check out these videos. Thank you for watching.